one of the biggest tips in UFC 4 that not a lot of content creators talk about is the ref timer. Understanding how the ref timer works in every position is a huge advantage and it's about time that everybody else knows about this too. And a quick shout out to Dino Gamer who helped me out with this video. So two major keys that you guys have to know. When a submission attempt is locked and let go of, the timer resets. When somebody polishes up, regardless of whether they've thrown any strikes, the timer is reset. So use that knowledge to the best of your ability when you guys are playing UFC 4. As well as uh, fakes, transitions, when transitions get denied and fakes are pretty much treated under the same category when it comes to what extends the timer to the point until the ref stands you up. So without further ado, let's get into each position. Quick reminder that this is all about the accelerated clock. If it's real time clock, it's going to be exactly what this says. So if both players are inactive in this position, it's about 15 to 20 accelerated seconds and the ref will stand you up and reset the position. If you guys are faking, moving around, it's about 45 seconds until the ref resets the position. This position, it's pretty fast moving, so it's not very often that players are gonna sit here and stay, especially because if the person who is on top is holding block, they give the bottom fighter grapple advantage, which makes it a lot easier for them to transition. In full guard, it would take about 15 seconds or so with no fakes, with maybe some punches for the ref to stand you up. This also counts even if you get the reversal, the timer is going to continue, and that's why some fast ref stand-ups happen from there. If you're faking and also landing strikes, it's about roughly 30 seconds or so until the ref stands you up. So for rubber guard, it's about 30 seconds or so with no fakes, so basically no denials, no fakes, and if you're landing punches, 30 seconds is about the time until the ref stands you up from there. And you'll get a total of a full minute with fakes and denials in this position so the ref stands you up. So this position is, can be really, really deadly to land a lot of head damage and body damage as well if you target it to the body. And the fake, the side control fake is a pretty good fake that you can use to kind of try and fuck around and extend the timer. But just be aware that you have about a minute of accelerated time until the ref stands you up from this position. So if I, I'd probably transition to side control around the 45 second mark so you can continue your control time. This position, sometimes the ref stands you up even quicker than you would like, but it'd be 15 seconds with no fakes, no denials, and landing some punches, and you'll get a total of 30 seconds or so if you land some uh, punches with denials and a couple of fakes here and there. Of course, you can always posture up, and that will help you reset the timer, and that's how you kind of camp the half guard position on UFC 4. And now we get to one of the more busted positions in UFC 4, side control, one of the biggest beneficiaries of negative GA, which is after you get a denial, it gets increasingly easier to deny. Even if your opponent has max GA, it's a very fucked position. You can be here for the entire round when you're having fakes, denials, and punches. It, the only time that the rest stands you up from here is about 30 seconds if you're not getting the, if the guy on top is not getting denials and even then he can probably get a posture from all the damage he's doing so it is imperative that you take a look at the description and watch my undeniable fake video so you know how to survive under somebody's really good side control and live to fight another day very similar to side control but even more dangerous due to the side saddle arm triangle and arm bar no ref timer with punches, fakes, and denials and side saddle. And about 30 seconds if there's no denials or fakes, of course, very unlikely that will happen considering your opponent will be raining down elbows. So you need to get out of this position as fast as you can and hope that you can deny whatever submission is going to slide by your way. In crucifix, it's weird. It's 30 seconds with no denials or fakes, but you can be landing punches. If you're landing, if you're just getting denials and fakes here, it's about a minute. But if you're getting your denials and your fakes, well, you can't really fake from this position because you end up giving up like north south. You cannot fake a single position here unless you have a submission. But yeah, if you have denials, fakes from here, and you strike, then there's no timer. But yeah, if you try to fake without having like an Americana submission or something like that, you're just going to end up going straight into the position that is given to you. So keep that in mind when you're in the crucifix position, throwing hammers at your opponent's head. Mount is weird because the first time I got stood up from here, I was very confused. But apparently, it's 30, about 30 seconds with no denials or fakes, and it's about 75 seconds with that same concept with strikes. So, roughly about that time. And of course, if you posture up from here, then it resets the entire timer. 
another very strong position, especially when it comes to uh, HUD watching and all that other fun stuff. The north south position, also home to two very dangerous subs, but the ref, you're not the ref is gonna stand you up pretty quickly from here if you don't get anything. 15 seconds with no denials or fakes, and it's about 30 seconds with denials and fakes. And of course, you can land the punches, but the punches will do nothing to kind of extend that time. It's all about whether you get a denial or fake from this position, but you do get free passes to side control from here if you feel like the ref is about to stand you up. Sprawl. Now, this one is what's really popular here is going for the undeniable fake from bottom sprawl because the guy on bottom sprawl, if he just sits there, he gets free GA to kind of build back to whatever position that he wants so a lot of people they're kind of keyed in with their denials i can't even fake undeniable fake this guillotine if i'm the top sprawl guy so really the best thing for me to do is to land strikes and hope for you to make a mistake so i can submit you but all the person on bottom needs to do in order to mitigate damage in this position especially if somebody's trying to stall out the round you remember damage is what scored the most you undeniable fake the side control position from here and that will help you kind of stall out the timer just a little bit might even increase it by a tad bit, but at least you won't be taking damage and the ref will eventually stand you up. So just know where you are when you're in this position. Backside. Now this one, you guys see me on stream, I put my controller on my head when a guy doesn't want to move from this position because it's about 30 seconds with no denials of fakes and it's 80 seconds with denials of fakes. Of course, I posture up from here, then I completely resets that timer. So it's one way to kind of force activity from your opponent if they don't want to move, especially if you already secured the round. However, if you're losing and you're here, you definitely got to do something to force them to make a mistake from here because the turtle is a very, very strong position in UFC 4. Now, the punches from this position are very risky because some fighters have the get-up option if the person is throwing strikes on top. But you get about 30 seconds here with some denials and fakes. You can always fake the rear naked choke from here and then get right back to back mount to kind of fuck around with the timer. And you get the whole round if you're able to consistently land strikes from the back mount position. And back flat, one of the most dominant positions in the game because if they roll over, they give up a significant amount of short-term stamina, which sets them up for a submission. But it's still, 30 seconds here with no denials and fakes. You get the whole round here if you get punches alongside some denials and fakes. The rear naked choke here is the cleanest rear naked choke that you can get in this game. But it's really hard to get into this position if your opponent doesn't royally screw up. But this is a great position. And of course, last but not least, the back sitting rear naked choke will make it even though the timer here is relatively short you do get the option for a free backside transition which is what people tend to cycle they tend to cycle here and then go back and forth from this position back sitting they go from back sitting right back to backside hope that you miss a denial and they'll attack you with uh, the back sitting transition and they can kind of cycle you this through the entire round so you got to be really on point with your denials to make them not want to grab you on the ground and do that to you because the backpacking from here is crazy. But yeah, it's 15 seconds with no denials and fakes. 30 seconds with denials and fakes until the ref stands you up. That's pretty much it with the timers for each position. The members are going to get a little special variation for this video. But as for y'all, hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Romero17, I'm out of here.